kind of some adventures today, kind of the adventures of Milo and Matt. This is Milo. Everybody say hey. <laughs> and Milo, I may have to change his name to Lassie, as you'll see in, the, in our Minute With video. Um, but he was kind of a hero today. At first I thought he was the villain of the story, but it turns out uh, Milo was, was being a real good dog. And so I'll tell you, set up our story before I show you the next video. I got a text from somebody here on staff that they thought Milo might have uh, might have caught a duck. And so I was like, uh-oh. So I came down to camp to see if I could find him down the lakefront. I pull up in my golf cart, and here comes Milo, and he's soaking wet and muddy and just jumps on me in the golf cart, and he's all excited. And so I was like, okay, where are we going? So I started driving, and then all of a sudden, I get over by the water slide uh, near the lake, and Milo jumps out of the moving golf cart and runs towards the lake and goes into the tall grass into the mud and stays there for about 10 seconds and then comes booking back out towards me. So I'm like, okay, that must be where the duck is that, that he probably killed. And so, which is what dogs do sometimes. And so I went over there to investigate and I walk over to the lake. So this first picture you're gonna see in the video is what I saw. So actually Milo was alerting me that something needed help and he wasn't actually trying to hurt or kill anything. So you'll see that in the next video. Um, and like I said, no wildlife was hurt and the story ends fantastic and, and everything's great, so. So we thought Milo caught a duck. <laughs> so I came down here to investigate and this is what we have. And I think he's okay. She, he, Bambi. Uh, but yeah, Milo was definitely on it, but I don't see any blood or puncture marks. So we're gonna get the dog away and then we'll uh, investigate a little more. I haven't either. Oh, it's shaking. You said it was freezing. I think that thing was just born. Like, what, what, yesterday? Yeah, <laughs> for real. <laughs> um, did want to cover a couple things before I get any emails or phone calls. Uh, for the record, you should not pick up any wildlife, uh, especially a deer. Um, some people will tell you that the mother will abandon the baby deer if, if a human comes in contact with it. That's a myth, uh, but you still should not touch a deer. Only reason I picked it up is because I thought it was severely injured. Actually, I thought it was dead when I picked it up because um, it wasn't moving, but uh, you don't want to pick up a deer because then you, a, a deer doesn't have a scent and then you put your scent, the human scent on it and that can make predators attract it. But again, good news to this story, uh, later on uh, the deer was seen with its mama walking around camp. So everything's good, deer's healthy, Milo's the hero, it was a good day at Camp Aska.